everyone, it's Hayes and in today's video we are going to be talking about what is going on with Chat Noir in Miraculous. As we all know, Adrian and Chat Noir, both of them, have really not got much screen time this season. Really, after Lies, Chat Noir got quite a bit in Furious Furious and Furious Foo quite a bit and Queen Banana as well, but other than that, especially in Optigami, which I am filming this straight after my Optigami commentary, he hasn't really had a lot of screen time. Now, Marinette is the main character of the show. I always expect her to get the most screen time. She is the main character. However, Adrian is also a main character. He is the second main character. He's not that far behind Marinette. He is still extremely important. And he has been in it more before these seasons. He's always been in it more. However, I don't think this is like a favouritism thing because I'm pretty sure the writers actually prefer Adrian <laughs> over Marinette. I personally like them both. I love both of them. I don't particularly think I like one more than the other. Maybe actually I think I prefer Adrian slightly more, but I, I do really love Marinette as well. But I can't help but feel that this is being done for a reason. So as we've seen, Chat Noir is progressively becoming less and less important. They barely used him in Optigami and they didn't use him on an illusion of him in Mr. Pigeon 72. It was Plague helping out, not Chat Noir. And this change has come in ever since Marinette told Elia her identity in Gang of Secrets. So I feel like it is directly attached to that. So as a result, I feel like Chat Noir being in it less and less, and when I say being in it less and less, I mean being used by Ladybug less and less, and obviously it's being shown to us through his dwindling, rapidly dwindling screen time, is going to unintentionally hurt him. And now Alia has the Fox Miraculous, and it's not explicitly stated if Ladybug gave her the Miraculous to wear permanently, as in you need to come to every Akuma battle, like you're part of the team now, you're part of the squad permanently, I expect to see you at every meeting sort of thing. Or if it was more of, I'm giving you the Fox Miraculous, just so if I call you and it's an absolute emergency, you can come and fight and I don't have to ring you and give you the Miraculous and, you know, just waste of time. Here it is. So I'm not sure which of those scenarios it is, I guess we won't know, we don't have any new episodes, I have no idea when another episode is coming out as I'm filming this right now. However, it does raise the question of why can't Ladybug trust Shat to handle this situation alone? Like, why couldn't he sort out the Akuma battle and then she could come in later and do the Miraculous Ladybug or something? When he finds out that Ladybug has given a Miraculous permanently to someone else, and she's kind of like trusting Alia to be more of her second in command because that's what it's becoming. Like, Chat Noir, he has kind of always been. Like, I do see him as, you know, as equals. I see them both as equals. But sometimes, you know, it's Ladybug. She's definitely the one in charge. And he does kind of come across as like her sidekick, sort of, sometimes. And I'm not sure if that's the intention of the show, but it does kind of come across as that. And I didn't personally mind that, to be honest. I didn't mind it. But with Alia coming in with the Fox Miraculous now, it's like Marinette's in charge, Alia is her like second in command, and Adrian is comic relief, essentially. And whilst that's a nice contrast to who he is as Adrian, who is he's not a serious character, but he's he's not really silly as Adrian, you know what I mean? Whilst it's a nice contrast, I feel that's gonna hurt Shat's feelings that Ladybug isn't trusting him to handle Akuma fights on his own. So obviously we all know that Marinette and Alia know each other in real life and trust each other and are best friends, but Chat Noir doesn't know that. He's gonna be insanely jealous. And I also think Rena getting the Fox Miraculous permanently is gonna make him suspicious, and I think he will eventually confront Ladybug as he gets more upset about being left out. And then I think at that point, Ladybug will reveal that Rena Rouge does in fact know her identity. So if we compare Chat Noir and Rena Rouge in terms of how safe it is for the other person to know Ladybug's identity, it would have been a much safer decision to tell Chat her identity because Shadow Daddy doesn't know who Chat Noir is. He doesn't know Chat he doesn't know Chat Noir's identity, but he does know Rena's identity. It would have been much safer to tell Chat her identity. I don't think Marinette made the wrong decision in telling Alia. I love the decision she made, and if it was wrong, Bunnix would have come back and rewound it. However, it would have been safer to tell Chat since Shadow Daddy doesn't know his identity yet. And you know, Adrian isn't stupid. He's gonna realise that and he's gonna come to the conclusion, Ladybug doesn't trust me. Now I don't know if he'll also find out that Alia has access to the Miracle Box and is also allowed to give Miraculouses out to other people. Like if he finds out that will make it even worse, he'll dislike Ladybug even more because he'll be like, she really, really doesn't trust me because I haven't really been allowed to do that. I know at Heroes Day he did give Chloe the Bee Miraculous, 
but maybe I'm just mistaken, but I can't recall another time he's given someone else a miraculous, I don't think. I don't think he has. Let me know if I'm wrong. But I feel that wasn't so much of Ladybug giving him that responsibility to give people miraculouses, but it was more of, I have to get these miraculouses to these two other people who are in one location. It makes sense to save time for you to get this other miraculous and take it to this other person, you know? Because Alia and Nina were still at school, Chloe was at a hotel, it made sense for them to divide and conquer, you know what I'm saying? I don't really feel she was explicitly giving him the responsibility to hand out those miraculouses all the time. Maybe I'm incorrect, maybe Chat Noir has given out other miraculouses in the past as well, but I really can't recall any other than Heroes Day, to be honest. Maybe I'm just being stupid. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep for the past two days because I've been excited. So, um, yeah, I'm. he's going to lose a lot of trust in Ladybug when he finds all of this out. And he did say in Queen Banana that they were a really good duo, and when he finds all of this out, he's going to be fuming, he's going to be mad, he's not going to be happy about it in the slightest. So we all know the theme for this season is lying, betrayal, secrets, but I think this secret, when he finds out that what Ladybug and Rena Rouge have been doing, not that I think it's like underhand or anything, but... I think it's just gonna be one secret too many for Chat Noir. He's been left in the dark far too many times for him to be happy with it. This isn't the first time it's happened. It's happened several times and now it's been happening for a while. I don't know how much time has passed. Time means nothing and miraculous, but now it seems to have been happening for a while behind his back without Ladybug telling him. They're supposed to trust each other, they're supposed to be best friends, they're supposed to protect each other, and she hasn't told him this. You can't tell me he's not gonna be at the very least sad, if not mad, if not angry, when he finds this out. The only secret Shat is keeping from Ladybug is his identity, which she knows about. She is keeping so many secrets from him, first of all the events of Shat Blanc, and now Alia knowing her identity. If this situation was the other way around, Ladybug would be so mad at Shat for keeping all of this from her. So I believe Shat Noir is being intentionally left out of episodes to signal to the viewer that yeah, he's getting dwindling screen time, because a big confrontation is gonna happen, it's gonna stir up drama, and when he finally confronts Ladybug, there's gonna be tension, they're gonna fall out. However, at that point, they may finally be some progression in the love square, in that he starts seeing Ladybug differently, and he can finally see Marinette <laughs> differently, and give us some progress. It's really hard to love someone, or not even love someone, just be friends with someone, if you know they don't trust you and you know their whole relationship is built on trust of first of all keeping their identities hidden but second of all also saving each other and if they can't trust each other what's that dynamic going to be like how is it going to change i'm really interested to see and i'm not really sure how ladybug is going to defend this decision to chat either to be honest because if she's going to be like well you've made mistakes before for example in the new york special I don't think you deserve to know or something. Alia also made mistakes in this episode, yet her reward was getting a miraculous permanently. So I don't feel like that's gonna be a good enough reason to say, essentially. So as much as it pains me to seeing Adrian and Shaq getting less screen time, because I love them both so much, definitely some of my favorite characters, I think it's being done for a reason because when he found, because when he finds out about Ladybug, we're gonna get a Adrian slash Shaq focus episode or maybe a couple of episodes that's really gonna focus on it because he's not gonna be a happy bunny or happy kitty should I say he's not gonna be happy and it's gonna cause a lot of drama and as we all know episode 22 is going to be episode 100 so maybe they are saving some spectacular angry Adrian for that episode but I'd love to know what you think about Adrian and Shat like I said as much as it pains me to not see him on screen I think it's being done for a reason I hope. <laughs> Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!